Hi everyone, I'm Stephanie Russell for the Oregon State University Extension Service with a Food Hero Recipe Spotlight. Do you want to know what recipe I'll be sharing about today? Follow me if you want to see. It's the mix and match skillet meal. I just love this recipe because it's a recipe you can make with any ingredients you choose. Just add a grain, some vegetables, a protein, sauce, and seasonings like herbs and spices. Oh, and if you want to, you can even add a topping like cheese or nuts. The whole family can get in on the fun of selecting ingredients. Whatever the ingredients, you're sure to create a healthy and tasty meal for you and your family. When I make this recipe, I like to start by checking to see what ingredients we already have in the kitchen. Hmm, looks like there's some beans, tomato sauce, and rice. That's a great start. We also have some seasonings. They're a great way to add flavor to meals. I like all sorts of them, but for today's recipe, I'm going to choose the garlic powder. My family really likes garlic. Hmm, looks like I still need some vegetables. I know, there might be something in the garden. Follow me. And look what I found, onions and celery. These will go great in our mix and match skillet meal. All right, almost ready to cook, but let's take a closer look at the ingredients first. For the grain, we have rice. For the vegetables, we have onion and celery. For the protein, we're using beans. And did you know that beans can count as a vegetable too? But this time we're going to use them for the protein. We also have a can of tomato sauce. Oh, and we'll need to add enough water to the tomato sauce so that the sauce mixture equals two and a half cups. And our last ingredient is the garlic powder. I'm so excited to make this, and I've asked my son, Andrew, to help. We love making meals together. Kids can help with all sorts of things, so long as grown-ups help them choose tasks appropriate for their age and skill level. With that in mind, Here's just a few ideas of what kids might be able to help with when making the mix and match skillet meal. Measure and stir ingredients. Open cans and drain the liquid. Wash, peel, and chop vegetables. And adjust the temperature on the stove. Now there's just one more thing to do before we get going with the cooking. Can you guess what it is? That's right, we need to wash our hands. We're going to wash them with warm, soapy water for 20 seconds. Now we're ready to cook. All right, Andrew's going to get us started with washing the celery and washing and peeling the onion. Then, I'm going to chop the celery and onion into small pieces. And after that, I'm going to open the beans and tomato sauce. Andrew is going to drain the beans and rinse them under running water. Next, we're going to measure the rice, chili powder, and water. Okay, we're ready for my favorite part, putting everything all at once into the skillet. I just love how easy this recipe is. Almost there. Now I just need to cook it on the stove top over medium-high heat until it boils. After that, I'm going to reduce the heat to low, cover it, and let it simmer for about 15 to 20 minutes or until the rice is tender. If your mixture gets too dry, then just add a little water. If you're using brown rice or another whole grain, it will take a little longer to cook. Okay! It's ready for us to eat. 
Yum! That was so delicious. I'm already thinking about what to put in our next mix and match skillet meal. Hmm, maybe some noodles for the grain, salmon for protein, bell peppers and spinach for vegetables. Oh, and there's carrots growing in the garden. We can add them to the vegetables as well. Eating a variety of colorful vegetables and fruits is very healthy, so we add different colors to our meals whenever we can. Now for the seasonings. Oregano might be good. We can add a fresh herb this time too. Maybe some of the basil that's growing in the garden. What herbs and spices do you and your family like? One last thing before I go. If you're looking for more recipes that are healthy, tasty, easy, and fun to make, visit foodhero.org. There's even a collection of kid-approved recipes. You'll also find the monthly magazines, like this one about beans, and this one about herbs and spices. You'll find coloring pages like these on onions and celery, activity sheets like this one on poetry, even games like at home bingo. You'll find all this and so much more when you visit foodhero.org. I hope you've enjoyed this Food Hero Recipe Spotlight. Bye everyone.